And the images of Russian tanks rolling through a neighboring country, people taking shelter in subway stations, it all feels like something from the past century. KPX 5's Wilson Walker has more on the world reacting to a dangerous new era. A lot has been said about how unsettled the past couple years have been at home and around the world. Well, now this, another calamity, one that feels like something from another time. Absolutely. You know, there has not been a, a land war in Europe since um, the Nazis were defeated in 1945. And that's why, you know, the Ukrainians, uh, I remember seeing interviews with regular Ukrainians in Kiev, and they just didn't believe that this was actually going to happen. And Even for historians, this was a day that brought a certain kind of disbelief. The Ukraine crisis has, in fact, produced a land war in Europe. And for all of the situation's complexities, there is now one simple takeaway. In conclusion, I would say we're looking at a very different world once he takes the Ukraine, a much more unstable world. It feels like a repetition of history in some sense, because when we're now uh, rereading the books uh, about uh, Second World War, it looks like history repeating as well. The citizens of Kyiv seeking shelter in their local metro stations, a scene that recalls famous images of Londoners sleeping in the underground during the Blitz. And then there are the refugees heading for borders, trying to escape the dangers and uncertainties of war. We can't really imagine that in 21st century, instead of creating the future, people will be like just destroying it. It's a sad, heartbreaking time. We pray for them. We support them with our humanitarian assistance. We also support them with our military assistance as well. House Speaker Pelosi discussed U.S. assistance to Ukraine while speaking in San Francisco today, adding that there's no way of knowing how long the conflict might last. The crisis may just be beginning, even though not that long ago it would have seemed inconceivable. You know, at the end of the Cold War, people, there was a famous book by Francis Fukuyama uh, from the Rand Corporation called The End of History, where he thought there was only kind of one system left, democratic capitalism. There'd be a few stragglers, but basically there was no options. And obviously, you know, um, history has returned with a vengeance. In Palo Alto, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.